Hello everyone and welcome to this latest uh, video discussion as part of the RICS Tech Partner Programme. Uh, my name is Andrew Knight and I sit within the standards, regulation and thought leadership part of the organisation. Uh, my role is to look at the effect of data and technology right across the built and natural environment and with over 130,000 members worldwide uh, working right across the life cycle of property, across the different assets of commercial, residential, land, rural infrastructure, data and technology is having a profound and very positive effect on the way uh, our profession works. Uh, and today I'm really, really pleased to have a, a couple of uh, people from our tech partner, Jin Lau, uh, joining us from Hong Kong and sh uh, Shanghai. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So obviously morning here in, in the UK, but obviously afternoon in, in Shanghai and uh, Hong Kong, but great to have you on, on, the, on the call today. Uh, and it's always nice to start with, uh, I think a bit of a kind of background question really. So it'd be great to hear from you both, uh, the, the story of, of, of this new startup as it were, this new thing that, that's, that's come out of JLL. So uh, Jay, Wendy, do, do, do tell us about the history and the background. Yes, sure, let me, let me go first. I want to share the story of uh, how Janelle was born. So, um, you know, we, our team, we are doing um, traditional valuation business in JIL in Greater China. And we, we have a lot of, uh, every day we handle a lot of data and do and provide evaluation advice to our clients. And I remember that was uh, in 2018 in Beijing. We are the management, we decide we have to do something to uh, not waiting for someone external to disrupt ourselves, but rather we have to to disrupt ourselves first. So we organize a hackathon internally for our valuer. We invite our talent um, from, from our valuation team, around 30 people get, get together two days to doing a design thinking workshop. And we, and, and we have teams to uh, come up with ideas on how we can uh, help our valuer to do the evaluation process. And then the winning team was uh, Jay's team. Now Jay is here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when 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 the camera was the um like the inspection too, that the, the name is called Kan Cha Bao. So it's how we can have the value when they do the valuation, they can upload and take all the photos and and the and the parameters on the spot. That really can help the value in the whole process. So we think this idea is great. So is that Jay? This is uh, you. You are the winning team, and your award is to make it go live. <laughs> and then that's uh, really a shock for him. I say, oh, really? I have to go live. <laughs> but, but that's how we begin uh, the, the baby of Zhenyan uh, three years ago. And then after the, that evolved and evolved, and then the Zhenyan uh, really launched uh, last year in, in October last year, which is a SaaS platform. Yeah. So that's the, that, that's the background story how it comes to the market. So Jay, as as the winner, what, what what how do you view this story? <laughs> uh, at, at the very beginning, I think this is a great idea for our company and for our business. And also as a young man uh, to work in this uh, company, I think this is a great opportunity for me to uh, really make something happen that is uh, aligned with our company value and my personal interest. So I think it's a great honor, but also a great pressure because I never think about they need to make it launch in re reality. <laughs> so, so tell us what what exactly is Shen Lao? I mean, you mentioned when the photographs and, and doing things when values are out and about. But what exactly is it, and and who do you think is going to be helping in terms of of, of the clients that will really get the value from it? Yeah, let me let me go first. So at the beginning, Shen Lao was to helping the valuer to do the inspection faster. And then the, the, the second generation, we, we, it was a um, project uh, management platform that help, help our valuer to do the portfolio valuation. And now it is more like an integrated uh, valuation um, um, solution, digital solution for our clients. And when, when we mentioned about our clients, it actually has four different categories. Uh, we serve uh, the developers, uh, investors, as a management companies and also the market practitioners. How, how do you see it, Jay? Uh, I'm a valuer myself, so I was doing a lot of projects with my clients. And uh, during the process, I figured out there's so many pinpoints uh, that we have on our modelings and also the communication, the, the valuation reports that we deliver to our clients. So for Jen Liang, the, the objective of Jen Liang is to solving uh, those pinpoints, for example, uh, we want to reduce 
the time that we spent on the modeling in Excel. And also we want to reduce uh, the time we spent on the in site inspection and data collections. So that's why we think uh, there must be a tool that is needed and benefit both from the, the client side and from our side. So we gave the birth to Genial. Indeed. Now, Wendy, I, I was interested, you, you talked earlier about you wanting to innovate and disrupt before somebody else did it. So what, what, what are your views on, on how you want to sort of change the, the commercial real estate industry in, in, in China? Yeah, because maybe I give some background on uh, the real estate industry in China. So um, it, it, it is a, a we so called a very fragmented industry. So uh, for, for the commercial uh, properties industry, there are no such uh, market player to try to consolidate and helping uh, the, the industry player to, to help, help them in digitalization. They, 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 a lot of the players, they are all very, um, maybe they are good in certain provinces or maybe only good in certain area like residential. So, but in terms of the commercial uh, property side, uh, it is not transparent at all. So we may conceive the niche of the, maybe there's a small window if we can catch it quickly on uh, to, 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 to get the market potential from this market. So that's why we, we see this as the opportunity for Jinnia as well. So Jay, as a, as a valuer, how do you see it changing, hopefully, the, 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 the landscape of commercial real estate? Um, I think uh, in, in China, commercial real estate markets, uh, uh, we are doing pretty good, but also we have our shortage, uh, which is on the data transparencies. Uh, in our daily work, we spend a lot of times uh, on collect data from, for example, the occupancy, the rent, um, and also taking photos from our valuation buildings. Uh, there's no uh, a, a central platform that where we can go and get everything in one place. Uh, so that's that's the blank field in real estate uh, in China. So what we think about is if we can provide those informations and we, if we can add those information actually making our user and clients uh, to increase their efficiency, then it's valuable and that's uh, that's our that's the thing that we want to do. So for, from the perspective of, of this coming out of JLL, uh, is Xianliao a, a, an extension of valuation services or a digital product or, or both? How is it viewed? I think this is this is an uh, extension of our current valuation and advisory services. Uh, of course, Valier is doing a great job and uh, we, are a very, uh, we are a very important agent in China, but we want to make ourselves even more better. We want to provide more perceived value to our clients. So uh, that's how I build uh, Jin Liang and the connections between Jin Liang and our clients and, uh, and valuation services. How would you have yeah. an answer that, Wendy? <laughs> just, just, you know, Jay just, just mentioned. Um, so I think, I think the, the, the unique uh, uniqueness of this Zhenliang platform is we have the valuer, uh, which is a very important uh, um, professional ex expert, uh, which can, uh, in, in, in handling those data analytics and also uh, giving the insight for our client. We not only like the other um, SaaS platform or database, it's just collecting data, but we have that value to handle the um we, we, we call the expertise the judgment professional judgment uh, 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 job or duties on of our data this is really very valuable for our clients yeah so so given what you're trying to do with uh, Shen Liao, what, what what are the other kind of market participants doing I mean are there people who are trying to collect this data independently of, of firms like yourselves what, what what sort of what's the landscape look like in terms of the, the kind of various people playing in this space uh, so in, in terms of this uh, market uh, as i said is on the residential side is really we can see the uh, we have a large player they are doing this like uh the u.s listed company like uh, uh baker which is a very big uh chinese uh real estate broker but they are only focused on real estate 
Okay. And like Ming Yuan Yun, which is a SaaS platform, but only focus on property management. So they they are they, they have a very specialized, a very niche on doing the different kind of uh, asset type or asset classes. But for us, we are more focused to build on our uh, valuation base and also the JIL uh, uh, database, which is more on the uh, commercial property side. And and what what's the business model that that you're using to to build and grow uh, with this new solution? The business model for uh, for our uh, platform is. Uh, we are built it based on our uh, professional value teams. Uh, it's the root of our business model. So uh, our knowledge or the product, the product scenario uh, and the users, uh, user stories are from our values because we work very closely with them. We know their pinpoints and their pinpoints is the common pinpoints for, for the entire industry. This is where we connect our needs and also for the data. The data is uh, is provided or based on our valuation uh, reports and projects, and we uh, doing analysis based on those data and then extend it to a new features and put it on our platform. So uh, this process will make sure that our uh, our product will be really close to the real needs of, of our clients. And also for JL brands, JL has a very strong brand in commercial real estate. So it's kind of a very good marketing for our uh, product to attract more uh, good clients or KA clients. What are your thoughts, Wendy? Yeah, so I, I think I think with, uh, and, and, also, and, and another thing is uh, one of the feature of, of our Zhen Liang is to standardize the evaluation tools. Because for a lot of our clients, we realize they are still using different template of Excel yeah. for files. So this is really important that we have a, a localized uh, Chinese uh, 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 format of uh, all the Excel files that can help our clients to standardize and make it easier for us, or not only for us, but also for our client when they do the valuation or to making any investment decision. This is also something uh, really important as well. And, and what do you see that, that's going to happen in the market in terms of, of, of what's, what's also going to launch in the marketplace? How do you see the market developing, not only your solution, but other, other participants? We don't see any other um, same product or similar product yeah. in the market yet. But, I, but you know, in China, everything happens so fast. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we have to catch that. I mean, we have to move really, really fast pace in order to get this uh, opportunities, because we don't know what will happen. Maybe there will be another tech dryer and they said, oh, I want to enter this market. Then they can, they, they will just happen very, very quickly. So yeah, that's why we have to act really fast. Yeah, uh, what, what are your thoughts on that, Jay? Obviously you, you, you won the competition by innovating. Clearly you need to keep that pace. <laughs> that, 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 uh, yeah, that I'm, I'm worried, uh, agree with Wendy. Uh, thoughts that we that we need to run really fast because in in China as you you can see the internet companies is uh, becoming a tech giants and it seems they want to do everything uh, in the markets especially they are emerging to the real estate markets so uh, what we have or our competitive advantage is that we have professional knowledge in this industry we know what happening to uh, our clients we know what we need to provide to our clients so uh, this is our advantage and we need to catch this advantage and run faster otherwise uh, i think today we, we are the only one to provide a solution but tomorrow probably we are the one of 100 companies providing the same solutions I mean, I, I think that really is an important point because I, I often think that, that when we talk to our tech partners, that it's that combination of technical knowledge, but critically that knowledge of real estate. It is a an unusual asset class and, and a purely technical approach, I think will often miss the mark, won't deliver what people really want. And I guess on, on that theme, uh, how are you working with clients? What's their feedback? Uh, are the clients part of the kind of development cycle for you? Because clearly, this has to deliver what clients want, as well as what your internal value is want as well. well. We do a lot of interview with our clients, and uh, that's the way we collecting their feedbacks. And also, we have 
uh, talk to them about what we are doing not very uh, perfect during our job and think that's another way to collect our feedbacks. So when, when we first provide our uh, propose our idea to them, I think they are really excited because they are giving us a very positive, uh, constructive suggestions and saying this is helping us on one, two, three, four, five. And, and this gave us a very uh, confident that we are making sure and we are we believe that what we are doing is satisfying their their needs. What are your thoughts on that, Wendy? Yeah, and, and actually, uh, um, on the launch day last year, so uh, two clients, uh, one is China, the logistic arm of uh, Alibaba, and also Ambo. They are our two key clients on the logistic, and they also come to our launch day and be our guest speaker to share their insights on how we can help to, to, to build that, uh, the, 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 the pop tech industry together and, and drive something in the industry. So really excited that we have our clients to, 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 to support and, uh, and, and want to see the, the change that we make in, in the market. Yeah. Now, you, you, you mentioned the, the, the word prop tech there, and I think it'd be really interesting for us to hear from both of you, your uh, description for us, I think, of, of, of what the kind of prop tech ecosystem in China is like, because obviously I'm very familiar with the, the ecosystem in America and, and Europe and, and the UK, uh, where there's obviously hundreds and thousands of firms, startups and, and, and well-established firms in every part of the property life cycle. But it'd be really interesting to hear what that landscape looks like for you in, 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 in China and also where you're positioned in that, where you see your positioning, because it's a hugely noisy market in, 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 as I say, in Europe and, and the US, hundreds and hundreds of firms competing in similar spaces with arguably very similar offers. So it'd be really interesting to hear what that ecosystem looks like in China. This is a very good question. This is also related to where we position ourselves in this market. Uh, from, from my perspective, I, I see lots of companies in China is focusing on 5G and IoT, especially for property management. This is the area, area that uh, Chinese real estate companies doing a really great job. And mm -hmm. as you mentioned, Beike and Mingyuan Yun, they are the two giants in this field. And also there's another field about uh, the residential brokerage services. Uh, this is also a red, red, red sea because there's a lot of companies competing with each other in this field. Uh, but we find out even though there's a lot of companies doing prop tech, but for valuation and the financial real estate uh, fields is still blanking. We did not see any uh, players or, or companies in this field. For example, in, in US, we, we can see there's co-stars, yeah. uh, EIU. But in China, we don't have a, a giant companies like co-stars. But what we have is we have uh, so many small companies who's doing their small parts. Mm. But when you combine all the small parts, they are equal to co-stars. So this is the lens, uh, landscape we are seeing uh, and what is happening in China. Wendy, what are your thoughts on, on the landscape? Yeah, I, I, I just want to answer Andrew just mentioned what is the position of Zemia. I think for, for, for me, uh, for JL, at least from our valuation team, we can see how um, uh, Zemia really brings something to our young talent within our team as well. So we, like in Hong Kong, we have now five digital products, which they are also lead by some young uh, talents that they want to know oh, if Jimmy is doing something that really, really, really can uh, change the industry. And they also want to do something. So this, this kind of innovation and digital mindset really can help to plan and inspire those young talent in our team. That's really important, uh, not only externally, but internally also try to disrupt and transform ourselves. So that, that's something is happening right now. Yeah. I mean, I, all, almost following on from that, Wendy. I mean, I think there's always been a a discussion in, in many markets around prop tech being a, a different sector from firms like JLL or, or, or your, your 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 peers. And do you see in China that that's hopefully not true? That actually digital innovation is coming very much from 
firms like yourselves and, and that actually that, that, that really your, your organization is becoming a digital organization. Do, do you think that's true in the way you're looking at the market and looking at how you develop? Yes, definitely. And definitely we are like Jackson, the firms like JL, we are the key uh, stakeholder in, 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 in this uh, pop tech industry. And, and our participation and with our client that we can make something happen. So we are, we are, I would say we are the very important player and then can drive something together. Uh, and I, I guess to wrap up as, as a final question, it's always interesting to hear about your your vision for the future. But where do you, where do you think Shen Liao is, is is going in the long term? What's your vision? And we talked about the speed that you need to continue to develop and innovate. But what, where do you see Shen Liao moving in the next few years? Where do you see uh, five years later, Jay? What, what, where we? Be? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure where I am five years later, but uh, for for this product. Uh, what we perceive is uh, we want to have a standardized valuation models that people can use uh, to doing their job every day, like others in US, in Europe. Uh, we want to become the others in China, and also not providing the tools, but uh, but providing more uh, professional knowledge, market insights to our users. And we need to, we want to use our advisory uh, services and the professional experience helping them to make right decisions. And if people are making right decisions and we are supporting them, that's our value and that's who we are. Thanks, Jay. Your, your, your closing thoughts, Wendy. Yeah, so I, I think it's the, um, the only uh, MICS uh, tech partner with the same in China. We also have the vision that we can leverage on the RICS uh, global uh, network. Then we can do something together and, and to communicate with uh, RICS members what is the uh, what is the, the tech partners or, or the tech technology or solution provider like in in China what, what they are doing and then to help to facilitate that discussion and make people more awareness of what they are happening and exchange the best practice. I think this is also what we want to do. That's why we want to be a RICS tech partner. This is really the, 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 the best partner that we can work together with RICS. Well, that, that's great to hear. And, and it's been really great to talk to you this morning. And uh, I really look forward to actually catching up again. It'd be great to have another discussion and perhaps talk in a bit more depth about the nature of valuation in China, the nature of, of, of the commercial real estate market, to get some real insight and share that with our, with our network of partners and indeed our profession more widely. But for today, Jay, Wendy, thanks ever so much for your time. And I look forward to talking again really soon. Thank you, Andrew. I really enjoyed talking to you. Thank you. <laughs>